Buffer solutions resist changes in pH when small quantities of an acid or a base are added. This is a buffer solution. This solution is buffered at around pH 7. If I now add a small amount of base to this solution, the pH should remain fairly constant. Buffer solutions contain an acid component and a conjugate base component. Because these two components are present, when a base is added to the solution, the base is neutralized by the acid component. If an acid were added to the solution, then the acid would be neutralized by the conjugate base component. This solution is buffered at pH 7. Several drops of one molar sodium hydroxide have already been ha added. However, as you can see, the pH of the solution still remains around 7.0. Adding more base will slowly cause the solution to become basic. However, like all buffer solutions, changing the pH of the solution requires the addition of a substantial amount of base. A buffer solution contains a weak acid and its salt. The salt will supply the anion required to neutralize any acid added to the buffer system. In this particular buffer solution, our acid is hydrofluoric acid and our anion is a fluoride anion. Initially, we, will, we have 0 0.300 molar of hydrofluoric acid. No hydrogen ion and of course our salt concentration is 0 0.300 molar. As the reaction proceeds towards equilibrium, X amount of our acid will be used up, X amount of, of hydrogen ion will be produced, and X amount of fluoride ion will also be produced. At equilibrium, our concentration of acid is 0 0.300 minus X. Our concentration of hydrogen ion is X, and our concentration of fluoride ion is 0 0.300 plus X. The concentration of hydrogen ion may now be calculated by using the Ka expression, which in this case has been rearranged to solve for the concentration of hydrogen ion. Substituting our values, we have Ka, which is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4, times the concentration of our acid which is 0 0.300 molar, divided by the concentration of the anion from our salt, which is 0 0.300 molar. These values cancel, therefore, the concentration of hydrogen ion is actually equal to our Ka. And the pH of the solution will be 3.14 which, by the way, also represents our P-K-A. So for buffer solutions where the weak acid and the salt concentrations are the same, the pH will be equal to the P-K-A. Let's determine the effect of adding a strong base to our buffer solution. 
If we add 0 0.1 mole of sodium hydroxide to one liter of a buffer solution containing 0 0.3 molar hydrofluoric acid and 0 0.3 molar sodium fluoride, what will be the new pH? The first step is to understand how the buffer solution will handle the addition of a strong base. In this case, the acid, the hydrofluoric acid, will consume the hydroxide from our base, which will produce water and more fluoride anion. Therefore, we initially have 0.3 molar of our acid and 0.01 molar of our hydroxide from our base. In addition, our buffer solution contains 0.3 molar of our salt. During the course of the reaction, all of the sodium hydroxide will be consumed by the acid. So both concentrations will decrease by 0.01 molar. The concentration of our fluoride anion will increase by 0.10 molar. This will give us an, a final concentration of 0.290 molar for my acid and 0.310 molar for the anion. We may now use our Ka expression to calculate our new pH where Ka is equal to x times 0 0.31 divided by 0 0.29. Rearranging our expression to solve for x, we have x, which is equal to the concentration of a hydrogen ion, is equal to our Ka value, 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4, times the concentration of our acid, which is 0. 29 divided by the concentration of our anion, which in this case is 0 0.31. Solving for x, we have x is equal to 6.74 times 10 to the minus 4, which represents our hydrogen ion concentration. Taking the negative log of this value, we have a new pH of 3.17. The pH may also have been determined using the henderson hasselbalch equation. Negative log of the H plus concentration is known as pH. The negative log of the Ka value is known as the pKa. And we may also take the negative log of the concentration of acid divided by the concentration of anion. Inverting the log terms, the henderson hasselbalch equation becomes pH is equal to pKa plus the log of our, the base or the anion over the acid. We now find the pH simply by inserting our values where pH is equal to 3.14 which represents the pKa of hydrofluoric acid plus the log of our anion concentration or base concentration divided by our acid concentration. And this gives a pH that's equal to 3.14 plus 0.0289. And of course our final pH value will be 3.169 which may be rounded to 3.17.